my family up in POV. Just got this in the mail yesterday. Great sound quality. Hey there guys, Patches84 here. And what you just saw at the beginning of the video, and forgive the mess in front of here, um, there's a reason why it looks the way it does, um, so just bear with me. As you've seen in the beginning of the video uh, just now, I got myself a new uh, Sony stereo, which was, was intended to go there, but it didn't have the feature that I was looking for. Uh, made the decision earlier yesterday, as soon as I got it, that I was going to get use it in the living room. Uh, believe it or not, I got two two Magnasonic stereos. That one there works better than the one that was in this room yesterday. But uh, just going through some things, replacing a lot of stuff while uh, while I'm able to afford to anyway, and that brings us to this next video. Um, so today. Uh, aside from that stereo, uh, I did not unbox. I did not do an unboxing video uh, for the Sony stereo yesterday, partly because you know I didn't see a need for it. Honestly, it was a used stereo, and of course, when you buy used, there's no guarantee it may work out, so to speak. But um, but enough about that. Today's video, I'm going to show you. I've already opened this, and this is. Um, um, already out of the box, so to speak. Uh, didn't get a chance to do the unboxing part, so I do apologize for that. Um, but this came in the mail today. Uh, comes with uh, two pillowcases. Now, I bought two sets uh, of the same sheets. I wanted to get two different colors, but I could only find this color, um, sadly, so I could not uh, get another color. But I can't complain. I mean, the color itself I really like. Um, this is actually um, e Egyptian cotton uh, bed sheets, and the way it feels, it almost feels a little satiny. So it comes with, uh, I bought two sets, so the package came with uh, four pillowcases, two top sheets, and two fitted sheets. Um, I got the fitted sheets in the wash as of right now. I will be washing them, and I'll be washing these here very soon. I don't know when, um, but it's going to be very soon. Um, I got this. I came with it. Um, if you guys are wondering where I got this, I actually got this on eBay.ca. Uh, and that's the colors come in. I ended up with the pink because eBay only had pink. Well, I'm sure there are other colors, but there's animal print. There's, um, I'm assuming that there's blankets too. And then of course there's the sheets. Now it comes in many different colors. In this case, um, we got a 1000 thread count. Uh, we got a sheet, and it's a sheet set. And cold water, shit, I put it in hot, oh well. Hot cycle is usually best for bedding anyway, just in case if you, if you suspect they may have bed bugs, but better to be safe than sorry. Um, so it comes in different products, and I will take a moment to show you guys. Um, I ordered a size queen, and it comes in different sizes from twin to twin XL or XXL. There's a three quarter, which I've never heard of until now. There's full and then full XL, short queen, regular queen, Olympic queen, California queen, king, California king, RV king, and then of course there's the UK. Um, small single, single, single double, and then RV short king and UK double, Euro king I've never heard of, but you guys now understand how many sizes this comes in, uh, and there's Egyptian cotton, 
and there's nothing on the back. And uh, the reason why I bought these um, sheets is mainly to replace the old bed sheets that I got. Part of the reason really is because um, my old bed sheets are, well, they're falling apart. Uh, comes with age. Just part of the reason why I got these sheets in the first place. Um, I will let you guys know in the next video, which I don't know if it's going to be attached to this video or not, nor do I know when this video is going to be uploaded. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But anyway, guys, this is all I'm going to show for right now. I will see you guys in the next video. There we go. That's what's left of the old building. Probably tear that section down, maybe. I don't know. This camera always takes a long time to focus. Rubble that's stuff to the wall. Insane. You would think that after me being in this area for seven and a half years, July 12th, 2020, danger that you would not see graffiti, but MB Power. I'm kind of getting to wonder if maybe MB Power was here. But where's... Is it even safe to sit on this? This is getting really weird. What's up everybody? How's everybody doing? It's uh, Patches84 here. Uh, today is Wednesday. It is December 30th and uh, this is probably going to be uh, the last video I'm going to do uh, of 2020. I'm on a different trail today. I uh, just thought I'd uh, make a trip over here since I haven't really uh, been up here or up this way in quite some time. I usually have no reason to be. Oh, huh, interesting. I don't know if my camera caught it, but it's like, the thing that I like about these trails is that it's absolutely gorgeous here. I mean, the other trail I took yesterday when I did another vlog was beautiful too, but I honestly didn't think how beautiful it was here until I come here. I usually like to come here in the winter time or maybe in the fall anyway. It's cooler and there's no bugs, which is nice. Um, but yeah, uh, last video I'll probably do uh, for 2020. Um, this will more than likely be a bit of a year-end review uh, for my channel. If uh, you guys haven't noticed, uh, 2020, uh, this year has been... Uh, I don't want to say it's the worst year out of all the years that we've had our... I wouldn't say that this is technically the worst year we've had ever. I mean, we've I don't know if we've been through much worse, but I know that this year was definitely not the best year, um, mainly due to the pandemic and the lockdowns and social distancing and whatnot. Uh, having to wear a mask when we're out in public, not that that bothers me because it's better than, I suppose it's better than getting the virus itself if you don't want to get it. 
I for one don't give a rat's ass if I end up getting it or not at this point. I really don't care. I just want to get it over with. But 2020 was... 2020 really wasn't the best year. Been dealing with a lot of shit. Uh, dealing with the pandemic and a couple of other things that go along with it. We've had a lot of deaths this year. Uh... But with that, there's been some good things that came out of this, too, you know. Uh, got a job, even if it's technically not permanent, at least it's better than nothing. Uh, actually got to uh, replace a few things, like I got rid of a couple of chairs uh, for my dining room table. I even, I even uh, got to uh, get some new bed sheets for my bed, uh, as you can see. At the beginning of the video, I will attach that video to this one. Uh, what else? Oh yeah. This Christmas in particular was actually not a bad Christmas at all. Uh, there's been a few things that uh, I got for Christmas this year that I've always wanted. Um, you will see in one of my earlier videos when I do the... When I did the... Uh, little show-and-tell kind of video for what I got for Christmas, that kind of thing. And just overall, uh, just pretty much achieved some of the things that I never thought I'd ever achieve uh, this year. So I guess this year isn't that bad, um, aside from the coronavirus. But, you know, hopefully 2021 uh, will be much better. Uh, than this year has been. It's been hell on earth, to say the least. Uh, but it's given me a chance to do things by myself and kind of reflect on life uh, overall. And it just kind of made me want to step back and really think about uh, some of the things that I'm grateful for. Some of the things that I may not be grateful for, but <laughs> more grateful than anything. It's, um, <sighs> kind of makes you kind of appreciate the things that you do have in life. Um, as you can tell, like, like I said, I've, I've replaced a lot of, uh, personal property of my own. I plan on replacing more or... Maybe getting rid of some old stuff, getting rid of, getting, bringing the new, call it like a spring cleaning the winter edition, if you will. Um, bought a new iPod docking station for my living room. It was intended for my bedroom, but I made the decision that the living room would be a good place for it. And I actually don't regret that decision at all, mainly just because, you know, Sometimes you do want to replace the old. Um, had an old Magnasonic um, iPod docking station that I bought back in 2011. Uh, part of the reason why I bought a new docking station, Clock Radio, to begin with was because the one that the Magnasonic brand that I bought back in 2011 uh, kind of stopped working properly, or at least the sound quality wasn't as good. Uh, hence, I was going to replace that anyway, so in the end, it kind of worked out for the better. Uh, bought a lot of stuff online that you can't get in stores, which is kind of, in a way, it's kind of a good thing, but it's bad in a way because you aren't really buying local and shit like that and kind of want to encourage buying local anyway, but... If you see something you really like and you can't get it in the local store, then I guess it's fair uh, to buy something online that you can't get in store. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much what I've been doing this year, so it's not all that bad. And kind of, kind of starting off. I kind of want to start the new year off with a clean slate. Uh, for 2021. My plan uh, for next year is to pretty much 
uh, not only organize my property at home, but to also try and get a little healthier. I'm actually thinking about trying some one-shot keto pills uh, once they come in, because I ordered them online. Can't really buy them in store anyway. <laughs> um, hopefully that's going to help me get a little healthier and suppress my hunger a little bit more and help me lose half the weight that I gained, if nothing else, but who knows? There's all there's always going to be some something that's going to prevent me from losing weight. That's the, my plan. And of course, my New Year's resolution for 2021 is to get healthy. That's my that would be my biggest resolution for 2021. And hopefully, do more walks like this, uh, weather permitting. Who friggin' knows? I certainly don't, but what do you do? Um, but uh, tomorrow is obviously New Year's Eve. I do have plans uh, for what I plan on doing for like a New Year's Eve dinner. No, I will not be having a New Year's Day dinner or anything like that in my apartment. We usually celebrate that at my parents' place every year, but due to the pandemic and due to the fact that, uh, you know, due to the fact that things have changed this year, um, that may not happen. Um, my brother got his own place uh, back in April of this year. That's one good thing. Uh, he's got his own place and I'm really proud of him, which is something I should have mentioned earlier in the video, but oh well. You got a lot on your mind. That's what happens. You tend to forget to say stuff. But yeah, 2020 wasn't necessarily a good year. It wasn't the best year. Wouldn't necessarily say it was the worst year in the world. Um, but hopefully 2020 will be a better year. Hopefully the pandemic goes away. Everybody gets vaccinated and Hopefully by then things will be back to normal or somewhat back to normal anyway. I'm not sure. I cannot promise anything. I'm not God, but uh, I want to wish everybody a happy new year and hope for, hope for a better year to come in 2021. That's all i got to share for right now. This is Patches84 signing off. I will see you guys in the next video, and let's welcome 2021, hopefully with open arms. Peace. Before I end the video, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more like this, leave a like, comment, and or subscribe to my channel. And also, do not forget to hit the notification bell. This is Patches84 signing off. I will see you guys next time.